because the squirrels chewed off three light bulbs. They literally chewed them off the wire. Good morning, guys. From the refrigerator, you guys must be nice and staying nice and cool because it is hot outside. I am going to try. This right here is, oh wow. It's like super carbonated. Oh no. The cap is bulging. Oh no. <laughs> okay, this is jalapeno plum kombucha. I think I put way too much jalapeno in there. And I should probably open this over the sink. Um, okay, okay, sorry. Right. Oh, there goes the fruit dancing to the yeah. top. Oh, look at the, can you see the bubbles? Woo! All right. That's crazy. Is this gonna be too spicy? Ooh. You can out. always combine it with another one. So it kind of dilutes the spice. Hmm. Smells like jalapeno. <laughs> uh oh. What? <laughs> it's got a kick. Let me let me take another sip. This so the idea of like a spicy fruit kombucha is actually like it's an idea. It's, Peter didn't come up with it, meaning it's not totally weird. I think the jalapeno makes it a little like tart. Because the one you've had <clears throat> was what lemon cayenne or something. Yeah, it's actually like, it's spicy, but I think the plum's kind of an interesting flavor. Interesting bad? Like, I'm not sure it goes together. <laughs> oh, whoops, it was worth but, a try. Okay, so the, the spiciness isn't too overwhelming. I'm surprised. That's great. I mean, my throat is burning, but... <laughs> but like when I made it and tasted it, my lips were on fire, but I don't think, I think the kombucha maybe ate some of the spices. Oh, that's awesome. I feel like that's like good for you. I don't know. Doesn't it feel like it's like burning any germs out of your throat? I don't know, spicy and spicy out. Oh dear. <laughs> I think he takes sincere joy in getting up on this little dog bowl frame and drinking out of the water. It's so cute. I think we get sincere joy. <laughs> <laughs> he also has a tiny hairy sized water bowl upstairs. But he really likes this one. I actually got him a cat fountain. That sounds crazy, but, uh... That sounds like crazy cat lady status. And he didn't like it. He didn't want anything to do with it. It was worth a try, but he drinks really well just from a plain bowl, so it works. All right, here's the plan. We are going to make meatloaf and... Smoked meatloaf because we've discovered that's amazing. And, um... Peter put some chunks of mozzarella in it, and it was real good. It was the last time we made it. Yes. But in the meantime, I need to eat some food, and okay. I don't really feel like eating anything, so I'm eating slices of Munster cheese. As you do. Peter's going to eat our leftovers that we made yesterday, which really good salmon, really good Brussels sprouts, <laughs> really good rice but it made me really, really sick. My stomach exploded multiple times yesterday. I don't know why. Sometimes I just don't digest stuff, I guess. So I'm sad to be missing out on those leftovers, but Peter's going to thoroughly enjoy it. Do you want some rice and Brussels sprouts? No, because I don't know what it was that made me sick. That's the plan, our hope, is that this evening it will be cool enough as in not super dangerous heat advisory. Not dangerous, but like, well, it it's- Well, does say like, stay indoors, like the heat advisory on the weather thing says stay indoors. 
So hopefully it's not like that t tonight because we have it in our minds that we want to go bring like a little, you know, like a little camping, um, make a little camp campfire. Yeah, we're going to make a campfire on the beach and roast hot dogs. Roast hot dogs on the beach. But don't tell Ollie. Okay, his eyes are wide open. But don't tell Ollie just in case it can't happen tonight. Hopefully, though. Okay, we are just working on getting the um, meatloaf ready. And Peter is doing some bacon in the, the pan. I just chopped up the onion, hence the eye situation. But I just thought of something. Um, Peter also ate some salmon last night and he did not get sick. That's why he was eating the leftovers. <laughs> I just realized like it struck me. So it sounded like the food made somebody sick. Why is the other person eating it? That's why, because he did eat it last night and it did not make him sick. Is there anything more fun than cheese cubes? <laughs> I don't think so. Thank you. Peter is just frying up the onion in some bacon grease. And then what is your little concoction over here? That's, um, you know, a lot of ingredients, barbecue some spices. sauce, spices, mustard, little brown hot sugar. sauce, a little bit of everything. How's those, how's the eyeball situation? Oh, yeah. Onions are real. They are real. Okay guys, we've got one meatloaf ready to go in the smoker. It is all wrapped in bacon and ready to go. And one is gonna go in the freezer for another date. We're just gonna freeze it in the meatloaf pan. And then we'll just pop it out. I already have it saran wrapped and in a freezer bag. So that once it has its shape, it'll be good in there. And a few hours later, there it is. About two hours it cooked, a little over. Did a glaze there at the end, turned the temperature up. It looks so good, we'll let it cool. About a month or two ago, we were given this exercise bike that somebody was done with, and we were really excited about it because I've been taking walks outside, but sometimes, like possibly today, it is too hot for me. Like. I just can't breathe very well and you know, you know when it's super hot out, it's hard to function outside. So we brought it inside the garage. I mean, <laughs> we brought it inside the plant room because I thought it's a pleasant place to exercise. I used it today and for, I did it for 10 minutes and I think it'll be just a great way to get exercise in on days when I can't go outside here in the summer or even in the winter if it's too cold. I can't even remember how cold it got. Hey Peter, yeah. like through the winter, is it too cold to go on walks? Uh, at some points. At some points, it's too cold. So. It was just a fun little blessing. And speaking of the same, I'm thinking it was on the same uh, like Facebook group. It's basically like share things you don't need anymore and uh, give it to somebody in your community who could use it. That's basically the Facebook page. Um, you guys saw the other day how we were getting the umbrella ready. Somebody came and picked it up and she commented back and said, it's perfect. She needed it to shade her um, like house plants outside. They were getting sunburned or something. So she said that the umbrella was perfect and that was like, oh, I'm so glad it could be used because it was under our house and we did not need it there. It was with the house when we bought the house. So anyway, and then somebody else wanted to get rid of this and that's how we got it. Ollie, you wanna get your ball? Go get it. I also think it's kind of fun that, oh, that was a really good throw. Um, I think it is fun that this room has multiple purposes and we've moved things around. I have learned Mr. Fiddly Fig does not want to be moved, so he shall remain right there. Um, but it has an Ollie bed. You can get it. He's like acting like it's out of his reach. Ollie, you can get it. 
Go for a word. You can get it. Ready, set, go. Wow. <laughs> and he has a bed right here, and he uses both of them, so seems slightly excessive, but he does enjoy both of his beds. Do you love your beds? I know you do. Quick update on all things. Well, first the thing is, did Mary show you? I, I feel like we should give you a daily update as we watch these grow. So this is a prickly pear. Uh, this is a spineless prickly pear, I think. But this is a spiky prickly pear. And this, these are going to turn into that. Isn't that amazing? Anyways, I wanted to give you guys an update on our overhead string lights on our deck. Uh, you may notice that they are in a different pattern now. Instead of two X's, I did one big X. That was my project yesterday because, here's why. I had to take them down because the squirrels chewed off three light bulbs. They literally chewed them off the wire and one of them I found in the middle of the yard. One of them they left up on top of the little, like wooden post up there. They just left it up top and the other one they took. And so they did this during the night and it was kind of frustrating, especially since they took one of them. I couldn't fix that one. But yesterday I soldered the wires back together and uh, wrapped it in electrical tape and it's all working. But I had to take down the <laughs> lights to do that. And so I think I want to get something. I think they have like rodent repellent stuff I can put on the wires because I think this happens to people's Christmas lights too. Have any of you ever had this problem? Like squirrels chewing your Christmas lights? And do you have a good solution for it? So far they didn't eat any more last night so I'm glad for that. We brought our fern into the shade because it's so hot. Quick life hack for you at Aldi and actually I think a lot of stores sell this like a little four pack of miniature lettuces. They last a lot longer than the kind in the box that it's like little leaves already off the, what's it? I went like this. <laughs> <laughs> that thing. Anyway, so it's really nice. You can chop up however much you want for your salad. It works out well to do one to two of the little heads um, for a salad for us. And then it lasts much longer which I've been so thankful for. Don't you always hate it when you um, have a box of lettuce and then some of it starts to go wilty and then it all goes like one slimy. One leaf spoils the whole batch. Yeah, like that. I left the vacuum in the middle of the room, so it fell over. My bad. I started making a salad and Peter finished it because I my back was hurting so I needed to sit down. So he finished the salad. So now we're gonna eat. Well, we didn't end up going to the beach, but it was way too hot. There was no way I yeah. like I would survive. No. Wow. I, I uh, yeah, but we had salads and enjoyed our salads instead of hot dogs on the fire. Yes. You know. Sometimes you gotta eat a salad and sometimes you gotta eat a hot dog. And maybe one day soon, Ollie, will go to the beach and <laughs> eat hot dogs. But for now, we'll say, as, as always, we'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night! night.